since our to do's is the same list he, both here and here we also need to get a user and we need to get is public flag so let's add this to our query so we want also to show is public flag as well as the user so let's take this query and bring it to the client we go into to do's and let's just remove our to do's array what we need to to add now in order to be able to write graphql uh, queries we will import jql from graphql tag this will give, uh, give us an ability to write GraphQL syntax inside our editor because GraphQ, uh, JQL is target template string. So let's create our fetch to do's. And the reason we are exporting that because we will reuse it in, in other places and just paste our query inside. So far it's good, but we want to parameterize our is public flag. So instead of using false, we can use variable. Let's call it is public and we'll pass it over here to our query. Will be basically just a boolean. Now if we copy query and paste it again, that will be the query that you will need to execute. We will import query component from React Apollo. A query component we will use to wrap our component inside of it, like so. But instead of providing our children directly, we will use render prop. It will accept data, error, and loading states. Now inside, what we can do, we can, uh, based on our loading state, we can show different UI. For example, if I don't have any data, then I can simply return null. And on the, otherwise I can return the whole component. Now what left to do is just remove this data from here. Because now our data will come from our query directly. What we lack here is only to specify query as a prop. We bring our fetch to this here inside. P both public and private show the same, the same thing. So what we also need to pass is variables. Our variables will include is public flag, and will pass a prop for the component. Actually, this one supposed to be like that and if I run that I will have no to do's for private to do's and for public to do's I will have a bunch of them.